This is not a clandestine spy. If she is, she sucks at it. Apparently, a federal judge agreed. That's why she was given the lesser charge of failing to register. She gets out of jail this October. Eh, Kind of an interesting story. Not really. We wouldn't be talking about it unless there was more. She's not a spy. She's a gun rights activist in Florida. The feds wanted to paint her as the real-life version of Anna Top from Goldeneye. Why? Well, this is where Patrick Byrne's story comes in. Byrne ran into Bettina uh, back in 2015 at a libertarian conference I was just at this year called Freedom Fest. She approached him after his speech and asked him to come to Russia to speak with other like-minded individuals there. Apparently, Russian libertarians exist. Who knew they were a thing? She was interested in gun rights mainly, but also things like religious freedom. Well, she left her with her digits uh, and uh, told him to contact her so they could set up some meetings. Well, Byrne is a good, decent guy, and he loves his country. He was suspicious of this. Wait a minute, I just meet this. She's, you know, kind of real friendly. She gives me her phone number. She wants to meet with everybody. He has a security clearance for work he has done. Who knew? Well, he worried that that might jeopardize his security clearance, and he didn't feel comfortable with the meeting. So what did he do? The thing that everyone says every politician should have done, reported it to the FBI. He did. He called the FBI, and the FBI responded saying, oh yeah, Bettina, yeah, we've already looked into her. She's fine. She's cleared. Byrne was free to do whatever he wanted with her, and his clearance wasn't in any danger of being revoked. This is a letter from Bettina's lawyer sent to the DOJ corroborating uh, this interaction. It also states how Bettina was not only deemed not a threat, but she was also given a student visa in the country. But Byrne was still a little leery. He continued to report his now intimate relationship with Bettina. He kept calling them and saying, are you sure there's nothing here? Really? Because she just told me she wants to make contacts with government officials, Hillary Clinton and Marco Rubio and other very high profile influential people on her list. He even went as far as calling the FBI and said, look, Hillary Clinton and Butina, they're, they're, those people are meeting up. Are, is there any interest in any time or place? Uh, really? The FBI's answer was always the same. There's nothing here. Well, eventually Byrne stopped seeing Butina and their contact all but stopped. But that all changed just before the 2016 election. All of a sudden, the FBI was calling Patrick. Byrne stated that he got a call from the FBI requesting him to reestablish contact and reestablish a relationship with her and to continue to report to them. Well, being a good American, he did. He eventually told the FBI that Bettina was clean. He had spent enough time with her and met her friends and that she was legitimately advocating for liberal-minded, classic liberal-minded uh, advocates in Russia. She was not a spy, not a on a top, if you will, from Goldeneye. But Byrne, Byrne had witnessed testimony, but that testimony never made it to court. The evidence that was in her favor was never heard of until now. Byrne claims this is all part of a political hit job by senior members of the FBI at the exact same time the Russia probe was just getting started on Donald Trump. An attempt to link conservative politicians and groups that support or are linked to Donald Trump. They were building their case by any means necessary. The FBI and DOJ have refused to comment on this story, but most of this has been verified as true. Byrne's story is extremely credible. I know him personally. He's not a guy to make this up. 